all love Marshall. Got Brian Whitaker up there out of Oklahoma after a couple year hiatus. Uh, there's a great interview we did with him yesterday at check in on the IFPA Facebook page. Really, really nice athlete, teaches school at Oklahoma State University, and he is shredded to the bone. Number 47, we have Moji from Los Angeles, California. Moji. He's been a pro for 10 years, uh, competing for 18 years, qualified for the Yorton at the IFPA Universe in California. No, it's interesting. Moji and I, we kind of go back to, um, he's originally from Nigeria, and he's inspired by the movie Pumping Iron when he was eight years old. And believe it or not, here's the thing. Moji qualified for the Olympic trials for the Nigerian team in 1996. Really? And there are pictures and video of Moji lifting heavy amounts of weight when he was only 135 pounds back then. Um, so Moji and I, we've been talking for a couple of years now when I made my transition from powerlifting to bodybuilding. And this is actually the first time I actually got to meet him today. Wow. So again, it comes That's back like to that lot reunion. Yeah, it really was. You know, we first saw each other, we just gave each other our hugs and just like, hey, nice to meet you. And I thank you for all the help that he and guidance that he provided me over the years. He looks incredible. All of these guys look absolutely incredible. They they are yeah, they, they brought in their gift package today. This is this is tough. You know, in the red trunks is Parker Blue from uh, Kansas City, Missouri, and he is how old do you think he is? In the red trunks, how old do you think? I want to say guys. maybe in his 30s. He's 21 years old. Oh, my gosh. See, and that goes back to what we were talking about with muscle maturity. It takes time to develop these muscles. And to have that type of uh, conditioning, that maturity at his age, yeah. it's almost unheard of. It's an anomaly. That is unheard of. Yeah, he won uh, the Pro International Kansas City this year in September. It's his first pro show. He won his pro card first time out last year in Omaha at Matt Jackson's show, an NBF, one of our NMBF promoters. And uh, he looks fantastic in the red suit. So we have a deviation up here, too, or a range, I should say. We have a 21, and then we have one outside, 54. 21 to 54. And they're all competing in the same show. It says something. That is crazy, and all of their legs just look amazing. The separation of Marshall Johnson's legs, ladies and gentlemen, that is... He always comes so conditioned, regardless very, very of the show. Audience is really getting into this one. This is where people really start hooting and hollering is when those bodybuilders come out. That's because it is truly the best of the best. Relax. Quarter turn to the right. These gentlemen are squeezing everything. Side chest. So again, they're going to run through the same mandatories that we saw the women bodybuilders go through. It's a set uh, order of poses. You can see them sitting in those legs to show those glutes as well as their chest. This is a side chest pose. Okay, so we, we have got... number 46, Greg Trombley. He's from Vermont. He's been a pro for four years, been competing for 15 years, qualified for the York at the Pro Group, oh, I'm sorry, the Pro Bowl. And the Pro Bowl is the, uh, in Virginia. Yeah, it is in the DMV area of Virginia. It's back in the evening. And that's, and that's uh, Kareem Petaway's show. Correct, yes. Kareem is part of the IFPA uh, top of the heap, what do you want to say? Yeah, he is the CEO of the IFPA. And moving forward, Pro Bowl in 2006 is already uh, picking up heat. Uh, it's going to be a hot show next year. It's one of our biggest shows. And that's the spring show, so we'll be seeing... Is that date already set in the calendar? It is April? set in the calendar. It's going to be an April show. Uh, you can look at the IFPA for more, uh, the website for more details. A lot going on in that show. And in ways, it's, it's going to be one of our biggest shows because we have a lot of uh, sponsorships uh, and interest coming in to the DMV area, Tyson's Corner, 2016. So you can hear Chad Austin spreading these athletes out. You know, these guys need room to pose. They've got big wingspans. Yeah, and that's part of the respect factors. You have to spread them out so everyone gets their space so they can truly shine. It's really interesting to see their lat development. Some of these athletes have high insertion points. Some of them have low insertion points, and that does change the way that they present their bodies on stage just anatomically. Now, as you can see here, ladies and gentlemen, the glute striations is very important because this shows the level of conditioning that the athletes go and take their bodies. See those ridges? Those are striations. You know, I think it's interesting that the striated glutes didn't used to be the norm, and anymore you absolutely seem to have to have them to be competitive. You're right, Liz. In fact, and it was 1986. 1986 is when striations actually hit the scene, and that was brought uh, by Gaspari, Richard Gaspari. 
And ever since then, when he changed that that level, he brought that uh, that conditioning in. That was, became the standard. And it's almost to the point now, Liz, that if you don't have striated glutes, you don't out. step up on stage, especially at the pro level. It's hard to be competitive. You see these gentlemen getting into their poses. They got to hold these poses. You know, the audience are saying, hold it, hold it. That is very difficult. Relax. This pose right here is so hard to hold. You can hear the head judge. When they say relax, they relax. transition, relax. but it does not mean that they actually relax. They are still holding it. Believe me, they are. Okay, we have some changes. We got Marshall Johnson moving in a little bit. One more time. Rear okay. last spread. We're going to do this rear go. last spread again. This is tough, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. They're looking at their glutes. They're looking at their lats. And they you can open see up their back. they're locking in their legs first, some of them, and then they go to their upper. See how long it took them to get in that position? Because it takes a lot. I mean, it, it really does. This posing is extremely difficult and hard to hold. And you can see some of these guys Last. resetting and uh, trying to get in the Rear perfect spot bicep. to hold those poses. Right. And this is one of my favorite poses, Liz. This one right here, the double bicep. The double back bicep. And you can see here because of the back Look development and back. the bicep peaks. It's interesting today, these athletes are taking a little bit longer to get into their poses. Yeah, you're right about that. I mean, look at the peaks of these wow. biceps. They range. As so you can see the camera panning, wow, Marshall's peaks are there. Quarter turn to the right. I think Marshall Johnson did like nine shows last year, something. Um, <laughs> it's funny because people were asking, is, is he human? I know. How is he doing he's this? He's just really focusing. You know, again, he's got a really supportive wife. Susie Johnson is incredibly supportive. And yes, so, Susie's the best. Shout out to her. Sure. <laughs> Big shout out. We see her at all the different shows traveling around. Yeah, she's incredible. She's very supportive of me, too. It's great. You know, I, I know I keep bringing this up, but that's the, the, the athletes that bring out those smiles. You got Parker's just smiling, Moji's smile. It really adds to uh, Relax. the posing, even though I know they're not being judged on their smile. It is. It is nice to see great presentation right, from the these presentation, athletes. The presentation, the persona, the personality is all brought up in there. That they, they are glowing. They are on point where they're smiling. You can see some variation in the way that they stand with their legs on this side tricep pose. Yep. It was what the kind of like the bikini in a way. You have to find the one that works best for you. Face front, hands overhead, hands down. So the winner of this class will compete with the winner of the heavyweight class for the overall title wow, later nice. on today. Wow. Go. So those of you at home sitting Boys, on your couches get this close-up view that we're able to see. Brian Whitaker. Wow, Marshall. Look great all the way across. Hey, they want to relax. They want to breathe. <laughs> so they're moving Brian emoji. Okay, so we which got really, Whitaker like we said earlier, emoji. doesn't mean anything. We want to make sure that the judges, all the judges, have a good chance to see everyone. Okay, we got some camaraderie wow. up here. We got Moji and Marshall next to each other going for their legs. And Moji's known for his legs. Yeah, I'll is. say that. He is known because he's Look a, a, a weightlifter. And Marshall's legs are popping. He's hanging. <laughs> they are hanging together. Relax. Wow, another day I'm glad I'm not a judge. This is a tough it's one. It's more fun to be up here in the box. <laughs> That's true, Liz. They're really close together. Face the rear, gentlemen. Okay, so we got the back mandatory. Keep on there you go. Foot spread now. 53. Take a step to your left. You got to keep on filling in. Give yourself space. There we go. Rear double bicep. Okay, here we go. Rear double bicep again. This is it. Parker pulling into that rear oh. double bicep. Boom. Close up. That's Parker Blue from Kansas City. Bicep peaks. Wow. Are Such a great testament to natural muscle right Relax. here. Face front. All right. Stand strong. These boys know they're going to be out here for a long time. They've been practicing and practicing their uh, muscular conditioning 
like how we were talking earlier about how often do you pose. You know, these guys pose while they're working out yeah. in between sets. They do. In fact, it's funny. When you go to the gym and someone does their sets and they put it down, and yeah, we got people flexing here and there, but you can tell those that are really bodybuilders because they pose a certain way. Overhead, and it actually enhances the workouts as well. That's a muscle-mind connection, too, for these athletes to hold their poses. So we move Marshall now in between Brian Whitaker and Parker Blue. Get a nice close shot of the legs and the conditioning. You can see the trifold, the separation. Oh, those legs. All these legs are dialed in, ladies and gentlemen. They are on point. Relax. And those guys are Face squeezing on those legs the whole time. Bicep. Again, going back to this rear double bicep, there's something about this pose that the judges really like. You see them locking their legs in, getting the hamstrings. The glutes are tight. Close up emojis now, back. We are, we are close. A lot of these athletes are rubbing elbows. Greg That's Trombley how close right it is. It's kind purple. of intense right now. Uh, I'll hide you. Sure from can see. Yeah. Relax, And face forward. Hands on him, most muscular. Okay, here we go. Most muscular. <laughs> like they're all so muscular. I like this pose. I do too. That's Look at those legs. That is intense. This is going to be a really hard class to call. Who's going to come out? The winner of the lightweights. Aren't you glad we're not judges and we can just talk about how great these guys look? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but honestly, by the time you get to this stage, they all have been, you know, you hate to say, oh, they're all winners, but they really are. Yeah, they, to step they on the stage in this company to say that you were able to compete with these names, these bodies. It's a huge accomplishment. Now, here's the crab most muscular. And like the hands on his most muscular, chest. this one's my favorite one. This is your favorite pose? Yeah. Getting down, getting deep, and going right Big trap. Me. Who's got the biggest trap development? Look at Moji. Traps pop. A lot of these guys kind of just start to grow on turn stage. Right. Order turn to the right. We're oh, going to go going again. We're going for another one. Okay. Another round, ladies and gentlemen. Side serratus. So this is where the judge starts calling just some optional Side poses. Serratus. Okay, so we're really looking at the abdominals, the obliques, and believe it or not, the legs as well. We want to get that side profile There we go. Lock it down. We're doing a little bit different. Looks Again, like it goes what works best for you. Variations on this pose. Relax. So the Chad Austin, our head judge, is checking with all the judges down at the table, see if anyone still needs more time. Yeah, if more time is needed, they believe they it, they will again. turn them around another round. Gentlemen, that was extremely tough. Yeah, it looks Thank like you. they're done. Wow. They're done. That was great. That was good. Great class. You can see the camaraderie here. See all the handshakes and 